Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is a very important video because this is the first video featuring the car I just bought. My very first project car. It's right over there. I'll show you guys in a second, but if you know the outline of the thumbnail, it's not exactly a surprise. Or if you know me as well, then I mean, it's not a surprise either. If you're on the Discord, I already kind of revealed it. But here we go, my first project car. So this is my 2004 Infiniti G35 Coupe. Well, it's new to me, but it's, uh, it's not exactly new. I have another one over there. That's my uh, it, that's my daily driver G35 sedan 2003. Uh, so I'm relatively familiar with these cars. So I kind of figured it would be a good idea to kind of improve my knowledge of the Infinity line, get something that's a little bit more sporty. Um, and then again, these 350Z um, based cars are just really cool. And they're good for the aftermarket as well because well, I mean, they share a lot of parts with the 350Z, and the 350Z has a huge aftermarket. <laughs> so this car has some issues. It was dirt cheap, um, and uh, that means, well, it's got problems. And one of them you're going to notice immediately. This little diffuser thing down here is not stock. Somebody screwed that in with non-galvanized screws, so it's rusty as heck. <laughs> you can see that there. Uh, I don't mind the look of it, but I'm probably going to take it off. Somebody's also smoked the taillights for or whatever reason, and they also um, plastic dipped the badges and the original wheels. However, this car did come with some bonuses, including uh, winter rims and pretty nice winter tires on there. They're actually nicer than the ones I have on my daily driver, which is funny. Um, so yeah, I've got extra winter wheels, which is nice. She's got some problems. Uh, I'm actually gonna make an entire separate video on it because there are so many of them. <laughs> but uh, you can see that the gaps on the front are not quite, quite right. And that is because it has a very large crack in the bumper some point, or at some point it must've hit something. And also my favorite part of the car is some of the wiggly bits. Like this wiggles in a way that it definitely shouldn't. Thankfully it actually did come with an extra front bumper and it came with a couple extra parts as well. So we're in my garage. Uh, it came with extra headers, although I don't think that I'm actually gonna need those. I'll probably end up selling them to recoup some of the budget. It also came with an extra AC compressor, although I've been told that the AC works, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Probably sell it. <laughs> came with brake fluid. I mean, I can always use brake fluid. And uh, here are the wheels there, plastic dipped, but they're 18 stock wheels or 18 inches, uh, and also the tires are basically done, but they'll be good for a burnout or two in the uh, summer, <laughs> hint, hint. So now I have my stock Infinity sedan wheels, stock Infinity coupe wheels, and then two sets of winter tires as well, which is really nice. <laughs> so I'm pretty loaded up on wheels. That being said, I, uh, I really need your guys' support for this build, and uh, I need to explain why here. Before we get to that, here's the interior. Very typical Infinity seat rips, that just always seems to happen. Again, it's a coupe, so it has the back seats, but I don't think I'm ever gonna use those, so I'll probably end up taking them out. You'll notice that the uh, center console is <laughs> silver. <laughs> it's not supposed to be silver. Um, at some point, um, so you might remember, I have, uh, I've got a bit of experience swapping stereos and stuff, because I did it in my car. Um, somebody swapped the stereo in this car, and they swapped it for a silver uh, kit piece, which is really funny. <laughs> it has the GPS, although it doesn't actually work. Um, it should pop up eventually. Uh, and then it has a super crappy uh, head unit here. I, it's not even Android, I have no idea what it is, but it's hot garbage. Um, <laughs> that's all I know. So basically, uh, all of this stuff, gone. It, it's leaving. Um, so we'll work on that in a bit, but... Yeah, uh, car interior, it's a little bit rough. She ain't pretty, but that's okay. Stuff like the heated seats don't work in that, but I am planning on swapping the seats anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Back seat is relatively clean. I mean, clean in relative terms. It definitely needs to be cleaned, um, but everything here is reasonable. Nothing, nothing too bad. Uh, especially considering the price. So talking about money, uh, basically my project car budget, and I've voiced this a few times in my Discord, and uh, I think on streams as well at points, but project car budget is 2,000 Canadian dollars. That is not very much, and I actually already spent it all and more because this car was 2,500 Canadian dollars, plus tax and insurance and all that stuff, but some of those things won't get into the calculation. I'll, I'll deal with that in a second, but 
Yeah, so I'm over my project car limits already, and I haven't even gotten started fixing the car, so um, that's where the bumper and stuff come in. I'm going to sell those pieces. I don't think I actually need them. The bumper doesn't even match in color, so bye-bye to that. And also the AC compressor and the headers, probably going to say goodbye to those too. I don't think I actually need them. And then the winter rims and wheels that are on this car, I'm probably going to sell those too uh, to try and recoup some of the budget because uh, I'm trying to do the best that I can to stay on that budget because that's the budget that my wife gave me. <laughs> she does not want me to spend much more than that and I can understand why this stuff can get very expensive. So I'm trying to do things on the on the cheap but not like not like super cheap. I'm gonna try and keep things as as inexpensive as I can while trying to make a cool car out of this. So what I need to do basically is prep this car for a specific purpose. And as of right now, I think that's going to be kind of like street, but also race and pro street. <laughs> I don't know. It's not going to have a cage or anything yet. We're not going to get to that kind of standard, but I'm thinking I'm going to take out the spare tire. I'm going to rip almost this interior. Uh, the engine is stock. I'll show you the engine in a bit. We're going to turn on the car and uh, go for a look around there. But um, the car has 260,000 Ks on it. So it is not a it is not a young one anymore. <laughs> it's got a it's got a weathered life and it's been through a lot of owners, no doubt about that. But it needs some work, it needs some love, and uh, I'm definitely here to uh, attempt to give it that in the form of stripping back all of this crap that's been added to it over the years, like this crappy stereo and all that, and and just getting it into a place that's a little bit nicer. I mean, when I say the crappy stereo, I mean it doesn't even need a stereo with what we're gonna do with it. Uh, I'm hoping to cut most of the stuff out and then use this car on the track uh, but I have yet to confirm those plans <laughs> and the expense of such plans so we'll see how that goes so here are the keys for the cars um, this is the one for this car and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a difference between the fobs and uh, that's because this is an OEM infinity key fob from my sedan and then this is a aftermarket key fob for the coupe <laughs> so at some point somebody switched this out um, because this is not what they look like it doesn't have the uh, OEM branding on it like like you would get with uh, with an actual uh, key fob which is really funny that was one of the immediate things I noticed last night when the owner gave it to me it's just like th there's something missing here <laughs> So I have the door open, uh, just for a full disclaimer here on terms of the sound, but uh, here is what the car sounds like. I'm trying to guide this in, move this seat up, uh, 264,274 kilometers, that's quite a bit. Oh, and this, this thing here makes a really terrible noise. Just listen to this garbage. Okay, never mind, it's not going to do it this time, mostly because I've turned it off. But it, it emits a terrible noise when you start it up, and it gets me so much it just has to go but anyway um let's start this bad boy up the dashboard is so dirty yeah she's got a little bit of juice i i think the resonators are taken out of it um but here let me get to the back and i can show you what that sound is like walking over to the back of the car it's a little bit loud um but it's not too bad i uh, i like the loudness of it <laughs> it's a lot louder than my other car that's for sure um, but I think being a more project-oriented car, that's fine. The thing is, though, that in my dream build, this exhaust would be swapped. But again, budget is the main constraint. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, afford an exhaust. Um, so we'll see. Here we are with the door closed, and um, this is, these are some revs for you. So you can see it's pretty smooth, like 264,000 Ks and the car still runs nicely, which is great. That's kind of what I was after when I was buying this. The car on the outside is rough, but the car in terms of drivetrain is fine. Oh yeah, you'll probably have noticed as well, it's an auto, uh, which is not ideal. Um, I am planning on swapping for a manual transmission. That is one of the big things I want to do to this car. Um, in the next year manual transmission swap. It's gonna be fun <laughs> And by fun, I mean difficult my goodness All right, so here is the engine somebody has taken the time to plastic dip the badges on the engine cover How the heck? <laughs> I have no idea why I mean this is gonna look familiar to you because it's the same as my other car exactly the same engine these cars both being automatics it means that um they both don't have vvt i think it is 
or is variable valve intake vvi it's something like that on the exhaust only on the intake um, the coupe ones that have manual transmissions also have it on the exhaust so that is something that we're missing however this car apparently does make 20 more horsepower than my sedan and it is in fact just a little bit heavier <laughs> which is um, I don't know, it doesn't really mean anything to me, because this car is going to be lightened significantly. Um, that is the goal at least. <laughs> so in terms of maintenance items, I literally have not checked anything yet. I have barely driven the car, it is not insured or safetyed or properly registered yet, so I can't actually go anywhere. Um, which is unfortunate, because I do want to try and drive it and get used to how it is. I mean, it has no plates, so <laughs> I don't want to get pulled over and fined, that's going to take money out of the budget. But yeah, everything on the engine looks fine. Um, I don't know why that one pipe there is so rusty. That's a radiator pipe. Uh, that's actually not something I've seen on the sedan, but maybe I just need to look closer. Something I noticed immediately was that this is hardly attached. Um, so much so that you can literally just rip the thing off like this if you want to, uh, which suggests to me that something has happened in terms of the belts. <laughs> Somebody swapped one of these belts at one point. Um, I don't have any maintenance records for this car, so I have no idea what's been done in its 260,000 kilometer lifetime. Let me just attempt to put that back in there. Uh, the air intake is stock, like it doesn't have any mods. Um, I think though on the outside, um, somebody seems to have rolled the fenders. I'm gonna try and show you this, but like that doesn't seem stock. It seems like they've been rolled. Um, especially looking here, you can see there's a bit of a lip. And <laughs> I'm wondering if at one point somebody had big wheels on this car, uh, which would be hilarious. <laughs> but uh, I've been told by the owner that it doesn't burn any oil, which is a rarity for a VQ engine. And uh, I'm told as well that it doesn't leak any oil. So we'll have to see how those things go. Um, but it is it has been, at least for the past time that the other owners had it um he said he's been using th synthetic and he's also been using premium fuel which is good so at least that basis is taken care of another thing that this car has is an issue and again i'm going to go through a full thing with this car eventually is that the panels do not line up well you can see that there's some damage on the corner of this one and also there's damage on the corner of the other side too uh, and it's because it is rubbing on this fender piece here when you open the hood, which is really bad. So somehow, some way, somebody took the panels off this car and then uh, did not put them back right because it's not opening and closing nicely as it should. But anyway, those are the basics of my project car. Um, <laughs> my coupe infinity join in the family of infinities that I have. Uh, but this one is actually going to be modified and I'm interested to hear what your suggestions are. Now you know my budget is not very much, I can't afford a supercharger swap, I'm not doing a Vader swap, <laughs> that would be like 40, 50 grand, um, so that's, it's just not gonna happen. I think that would be cool, I mean the, the only way I can get there is your support. Um, I'm, I'm not thinking I'm gonna do a Vader swap or anything like that, but in terms of just other stuff like buying wheels and tires, as an example, um, <laughs> unsmoking the headlights or taillights, I mean, because they're, <laughs> they're very unfortunate. Oh, I didn't tell you one of the best parts about the taillights. Um, this one is not even in, it's wiggly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's some weird stuff with this car. We got some we got some work to do. Um, what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to uh, talk to you about everything that this car needs done. I'm going to make a big old list. <laughs> also, what the heck is that? But I'm going to make a big old list of everything that I want to do to the car. Everything that needs to be done immediately. And then the video after that will start tackling some of the basic things like fixing the bumper and the alignment of the grill and all that. I'm gonna have to buy a whole bunch of clips from eBay or something to try and get that on there or just use deck screws. <laughs> I don't know how cheap I'm gonna go here. But yeah, this build would not be possible without your guys' support and it's not going to be possible to really go anywhere with it uh, without your support either. <laughs> I um, I need you guys for this. Uh, so any any views on, this, on these videos, um, the ad revenue from those are going to go directly into the budget. That's how the budget is going to grow. Um, I'm also hopefully going to be doing some other things. Uh, any, If any companies are interested in, in partnering with me on this build, I'm definitely down with that. I'll be contacting a few to see if uh, anybody wants to work with me. Um, 
but yeah other than that it's going to be junkyards and parts cars and trying as hard as i can to uh to make this thing work on a budget we're gonna go for a lot of 350z stuff i think i'm even gonna go 350z stock suspension to get it lower and then um yeah that's that's coming after we're after all the like maintenance items are worked on and once it has actual insurance and stuff and we can drive it and see what's really wrong with it <laughs> the headlights have issues too and I don't know it's just it's a laundry list of stuff to work on but that's kind of the point of a project car if it has a lot of stuff to tinker with then I think I'm doing something right that's always been the reason I didn't want to do anything with my uh, pro my not project car but I didn't really want to do anything with my sedan because everything works so if I'm swapping something I'm swapping it for I'm swapping a working piece for a new working piece, so there's no point. But like with the seats being broken and stuff, it's like, I don't really care. They're coming out, they're going on Kijiji, and then uh, racing seats going in. <laughs> That's the kind of attitude I have with this car. And it just, it has me excited for, for what's to come here. But yeah, join button support is a great way to support the channel. Just liking these videos and watching all these project car videos is an excellent way to support this build and this channel. Uh, if you're interested in the development of this, please subscribe. I'm going to try and make a video on this car. Uh, not, not once a week necessarily. I'll try for once a week, but at least once every two weeks, I'm going to have something going on. The big obstacle I have right now is that it's actually freezing outside. It's like negative 10. Uh, and I mean, I've been out here for a while, but it's not comfortable. It's super, it's super cold. My garage is nice, but it is, uh, it is uninsulated and unheated. So, um, I gotta, I gotta do some work. I gotta get a heater or something, but basically for now it's any work that I can do is going to be stuff that I can take off the car and then bring inside. So like the taillights, I'm, I'm going to try and unsmoke them. Uh, I might be sanding them to try and get the paint off because <laughs> I don't want to buy any more of them. And that means that uh, I can just take them off and bring them inside and work on them. At least that's the idea. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very excited for this build. Hopefully you are as well. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Any companies that work good with these cars. I already know about Z1 Motorsports. I already know about Stillen. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, they need to ship to Canada because that's where I live. The land of the snow and cold and also rust, which thankfully this car does not have much of. But anyway, thank you guys for your support. I appreciate you all, um, and yeah, <laughs> this is going to be great. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. A new project car, or actually the first project car ever for me. See you guys later. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, I don't know how to end these videos.